KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa. Now, it may sound strange, but it's a fact. A country like India has more mobile phones than it has toilets. But across the de developing world, more needs to be done. Billions have no choice but to openly defecate. Here's a look at what the UN has to say on World Toilet Day. 2.4 billion people lack access to what the UN calls improved sanitation. Nearly a billion people have no toilet facilities and have no option but to defecate in the open. The UN Secretary General says the Millennium Goal of providing toilets will be the most missed goal and the world body now aims to end open defecation by 2025. Well, rarely have I spoken so much about such a basic function, but anyway, here's Ewart van Galen, who's joining us from uh, Amherst in the Netherlands, and he's the Director of International Programs at Simavi. Uh, thank you for talking to us about Luz. Um, but first of all, let's go back to basics, shall we? And how vital is sanitation and a proper toilet to community health? It's extremely vital. It's, it's literally a matter of life and death. If you do not have an adequate toilet, you cannot lead a healthy life. You are very susceptible to all kinds of diseases like typhoid or cholera or diarrhea. And the figures speak for itself. Diarrhea is the, the third killer of people in low-income countries. So if you do not have an adequate sanitation facility, uh, if you do not know how to clean your toilet and wash your hands afterwards, you are very susceptible to disease and you cannot lead a healthy and productive life and get yourself out of poverty. Um, and, and so how can we account for uh, a fact that uh, a country like India has got more mobile phones than it does toilets? Yeah, this is what I call the classical uh, 3T problem, and this is about prioritization of people and demand creation. The 3T problem is basically that people think of a telephone first, then a television, and afterwards a toilet. So, um, yeah, it is a big challenge, basically, to raise awareness um, uh, in, uh, in people's heads, in fact, on what the use of a proper toilet is. And, um, and we've just seen in that report from South Africa how uh, one community is, is fairly resistant to using uh, what it, uh, appears to be new technology in terms of providing toilet yeah. facilities to a community that doesn't have water resources. Exactly. Yeah, so this is, I think, um, it's very important. This is why CIMAFI, my organization, works with local partner organizations that have very close ties to local communities. Because when you want to introduce a, a certain type of sanitation facility into a community, it's very important to involve the community from the beginning. So you involve them in a design and in the actual construction of the facility. If the design is not right according to their liking, they'll never use it. If you don't involve people in the construction of the facility, then they won't feel any ownership to maintain or clean this facility. All right, uh, we have to leave it there for now, but no doubt uh, we'll be talking about lose more here on Al Jazeera throughout the day because it is World Toilet Day. But Ewart van Galen, thank you very much indeed for talking to us from the Netherlands. Still to come on this Al Jazeera news hour, we've got the sort.